Hello and welcome. This is I seen you before playing Dominion's 4 as early age orc Cephal. And as usual for this series, I am joined by Sam. How are you doing, Sam? Yep, we're just we're just breaking sieges and making sieges. That's all we do. Yep, just um defending ourselves against the wave of Chaff. <laughs> yeah, the wave of chaff. I do. Yeah, I keep sending. I mean, us. the the nobles, the nobles are not chaff, but you know, no. the way they use them, they might as well be. <laughs> he's like, he's going. No, I don't want to die. <laughs> uh, just, oh. yeah. I probably want to turn. I guess. This thing, the team called squares on, so I can get a better idea of what's going on from now on. Uh, let's see. Um, nah. Meh, meh. I wonder what's gonna happen in that battle. <laughs> yeah. This is this Militia? Yeah, that's no, that's Javelin. No, it's Javelin. It's Javelins are pretty good. Oh. They're not as good as the giant. They're not as good as uh, was it um. Niflheim's javelin is though because they got afflictions. They're still. Uh, meanwhile, the it seems like Tianqi is trying to go around at the back of our capital. Tianqi really likes putting nobles in a line formation. I mean, it works when you have a lot of nobles, but they don't have enough nobles. <laughs> yep. Uh, meanwhile, Afinia is just gonna keep going. <laughs> He's just... trying to flank. They're trying to flank a unit that can fly. It's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, I don't think she'll have much issues just dealing with the enemy. Having a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, should have got a better bless, yep. guys. <laughs> Shakri is now up at four stars of experience. She's pretty strong now. Yeah, <laughs> nearly thirty defense. So that means that pretty much everyone attacks her. She still has good defense even at the last hit. It's crazy. Yep. Uh, that's not gonna. Not wow, good. Hydra. No. No. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> oh, we forgot to put some province defense here, so I guess I'm gonna just jump backwards. And just jump backwards. Oh, we found a province. Just, just send Athena over there. Huh? Just send a over there. Oh, seems like they're trying to siege stuff too. I mean, just, they, they built a fort right there. Yeah, just just get their fort and just send a over there. And kill them. Uh, you think we should just send those guys on this fort? Yeah, Athena can handle the other one. Pretty sure. Uh, I mean, pretty much we're just gonna be ping ponging, so. Yeah. We're gonna keep because we don't have the troops to actually fight all of them. That's the problem. That's true. That's true. I I wanna just se uh, send those troops there to grab uh, the the new helmet as well as get this or a few air yeah, jumps right there. Okay, so where do you want to send Athena then? Um, Athena. Do, I, do um... we have enough enchantment yet to actually um, air cloud trapeze? I I don't think she has it yet. We could just get for to Tomaturgy free and get her teleport. Actually, now that I think of it. Yeah, let's do that. That way she can do army interception instead of, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Instead of just walking around. Instead of just walking the fort, ping ponging fortresses, we can just destroy them immediately, yeah. which is nice. That's true. That's definitely true. That's a good point. Okay, so where should we send her? Uh, I don't. Well, I don't know. The, the AI might not calculate it properly. Actually, it should. Uh, we should drop on the on the enemy before. That's the first thing that should happen to us. Oh, the flying move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the magical movement gets uh, calculated first. No, I know. I mean, no, I mean when you're sending Athena out now before we have teleport. Oh, does the AI calculate uh, SCs properly now? Um, no, I don't think it does. I really don't think it does. 
Oh, okay, let's kill them all. <laughs> yeah. The only reason why I'm sending Athena here is like, I don't want um, the AI to take all our provinces so that we will, we will, we will be just gamed on recruitment forever. That's kind of what's gonna happen, Sean. Yeah, we're we don't have gamed on recruitment, I know, but I'm just trying to avoid it, uh, getting gamed more. He's a uh, oh man, those guys are dead. <laughs> guys, I think we should all join Baratos. <laughs> yep. Uh, have them do a last stand. <laughs> yeah, last stand. Bomb protection. <laughs> Uh, the other one can, uh, actually, the other one can actually do something pretty cool. Like Phoenix Power and... Falling Fires, pretty much. Yeah. Throw everything. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Wait, yes. Wait, they have Flame? Oh, wait, they don't have Flame Pillar yet. Flame Pillar is cool. They should reduce it some. It's they level. should reduce its uh, research costs. Yeah, that no, wouldn't be too bad. Uh, make it uh make it research make it like evocation six and it'll probably be great and i think um a lot of uh our party people right there should have access to magma eruption now yeah let's make magma eruption uh let's see rubber Whis can cost it reese davis the grand wombat as well so I'm actually gonna put this as order number eight. So let's just take this from Robo Wiz and give it to those guys. Yeah, mark my eruption's gonna hurt the enemy a tiny bit more. If there is one thing that, if there is one thing that does, that annoys me a lot in the game, and you know, there's there's other things, but there's one thing that, like, if I could say anything that i would just change out immediately it would probably be some of the odd choices in the um in the research trees yeah but remember we had a small discussion that i don't think the devs look after that balance that we players look after they, they seem to be going after a different balance in their heads yeah, I just want a few things moved. <laughs> like I like just flame pillar guys. <laughs> Make fire magic good again, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I it, it used I, to be pretty good. Yeah, it, it exactly. Just... Fire magic, that's one reason Abyssia was good and also good for start for you know new players because they got to learn how to use battle magic with simple fire magic. Now it just full of old people in a way of saying. It's almost like the the guys, the devs, found about you know the old age mechanic which they made, and then they were so proud of it, but they refused to listen to reason or anything concerning it, and they just left it like that, just like there. Well, I think they got so excited by the idea of having all these little interactions in the game that they forgot how badly that would give up this year. And then when they got pointed out, they go, oh, I don't feel like changing it. Yeah, or, well, you know, it's kind of also like going back on my words type of bias. So they refused to change it and left it like that forever and ever. Yeah, there's some things I... <laughs> Sometimes the devs, I don't understand them at all. Yeah. No, yeah, that's true. <laughs> like heavy cavalry, Sean. I don't, I don't understand. No, Sam, I, I told you, Sam, heavy cavalry is OP, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's OP, alright? You can't do anything about it, man. Do you want to upset you... the, 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 the balance of this game, man? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why would you upset the balance of this game? I guess if you play Raga, it's OP, because Raga is just OP. It's... There's no question. Yeah, I know. Why would you nerf Raga? You're gonna upset the balance of the game even more, Sam. <laughs> don't nerf Raga. Yeah, don't, don't nerf Raga. He definitely does not need a nerf. Wink, wink. He does not. Actually, it goes <laughs> just buff like it. it. Just buff it, guys. Yeah, they might just buff, buff it, you know. No, knowing the devs might be like, no, but I mean, these guys are probably right. Needs buff. Raga can oh. now recruit everywhere Griffins. <laughs> No, it's not recruit everywhere griffins. Now now their um their temples give two magic gems instead of just one. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going out what no Okay. 
Think that's it for this turn. See how it goes. Oh, the temples are like the best in the game, Sean. Wait, I didn't know that the temple gives them gems. Uh, in the right in the right weather conditions, I forgot which ones. I haven't really sat down to learn Raka because I I never felt the need. But um, apparently, I think one I think in hot heat something it gains fire gems from your temples. Remember that? What's, what's... Oh my god. Middle-aged man gets... Monks. But are not <laughs> even affected by the magic skill, which can't even let you combo anything. <laughs> the monks. The monks, like... Listen, guys, you can recruit this three-cost unit. Yeah. Yeah. Or this three research point unit, or you could recruit an actual mage that does their job. <laughs> I even tried so hard to make them useful, and it just felt... I built temples everywhere, recruited monks, and in the end, you just think to yourself, you're like, what? What was the point of all of this? Oh god, the chariots. Like, normally I wouldn't be scared of chariots, but this is Arco. They're, the chariots are actually scary, Sean. Seems to be... Go on, get rid of a chariot. Get rid of it. Ah. Uh, no! Going through a line of goddesses. Stop it. <laughs> Don't rout, you bastards. No. Stop running over our shit. Yeah. Okay. We got through. You know, this is why you don't... You don't... This is why when people get their sweet 16, or whatever age you have when pe people drive the car, when people can legally drive a car in whatever country you're in, this is why people are scared of the rich ones. <laughs> they run over everything. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think... They retreated? Oh, they crushed them. Yeah. Uh-oh. The enemy came with too much of a big army for us to do anything this time. Yeah, this army is too big to, I guess, fight Okay, up. so we lured them in, it's just that they were a little too much. <laughs> yeah. Well, we did quite a bit of damage with our evocation, but I guess our wall eventually just broke. Because it's Cardassi shot. Yeah. Card I we forget that we're dealing with... Car I forget we're not playing M.A. Arco. <laughs> <laughs> and that every that our infantry is a disappointment at all times. But it's we 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 did really good. I wonder why they even routed. I mean, look at this. Um, I'm actually curious how they routed now. Oh what? Why? Really? So for no reason, the Colossus is like, you know what, guys, we should stop fighting and break the ranks and completely run away. Man, that's such a disappointment. Look, look at this. We technically should have won this battle. Wow, I, I, I don't even know what to say there. Like this is, this is really the Cardassians have let us down again, Sean. Yeah, this is just a. Uh... A disappointment. This is just, this is just a good point on why Cardassians are horrible human beings. <laughs> yeah, it's just plain disappointment right there. Like hashtag. Disappointment. But the thing is that, um, in order to recruit philosophers, which actually is kind of important for EA Arco, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, um we can't recruit Myrmidons, and Myrmidons. You know, this is one of the issues because you're so they encourage sloth, right? But myrmidons cost so much money. Yep, one, two, three. So much resources, you could say. Definitely, that's true. So you need to go production three. But if you do production three, uh, your most important uh, early research course. unit I'm is useless. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We will be able to fend up. I mean, I guess it works okay in multiplayer, but against the impossible AI, it's pretty bad <laughs> yeah yeah uh, i mean 
it does work okay in multiplayer. Like I mentioned, Pegasus Knights actually work in multiplayer. That's if we can just hold off a tiny bit more, we'll get to mechanical man too. That's gonna help us. Since we can't we can't build any of the clockwork horrors right now. So we just uh, if we can get mechanical men, we can send the maker of the maze to start producing lots of it. Yeah. That was a big disappointment. So we lost Peter Was, Spitfire, Sigur Hell, Winter Soul, a faulty toaster, Astor Wolf, a, bo a bathroom citizen. So Don't worry guys, it was none of your fault. Yeah. It's all the Cardassi's fault. It was the Cardassi's <laughs> fault. Rest in peace, my friends. We shall see you in the next series. <laughs> yeah. Okay, should we send Athena back? Uh, how much till we get uh, teleport? Um, let me see. Hold on. We we're getting teleport on next round, so that's that's good. Probably send her back. Why? Okay, let's send her back and let's get her ready for an intercept then. Okay, because that will not probably be morale, very... so that should stop them a tiny bit more from retreating like nubs. Yeah. I'm guessing yeah. we should make a Herald Lance too sometime later. Oh yeah, Herald Lance. I completely forgot Herald Lance exists. Yeah, but that's what I was... Um, I forgot that he already had the Crown of Command, so I should have made the Lance instead of a Helmet of Heroes. But that, that was basically the basic plan. Yeah, because the classic thing to do with... Um, to actually make... The... The Riley... M.A. Riley, the classic thing... Is to have a Herald Lance and a... Um, crown of command on one of your commanders yes because then because then you can actually use the slave the the slave units that are pretty good but they don't have morale that's their issue yeah 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 and um that's actually what I was planning to do a bit for Bogaris, get them even more inspirational. So we can have a bunch of chaff, kind of. Oh, we can actually have Void do something, Sean? Well, there'll be basically walls of HP, right? Kind of like what the Cardassians are doing right now. Yeah, the Cardassians are terrible. Yeah, they're horrible. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out something eventually. Well, they're not bad. Well, we, should, we should emphasize, the Cardassians are not actually bad when you have equal footing. Yeah. But because the AI has so many troops and it can produce so many troops each turn. Exactly. It's that, just... that the Cardassians can't stand up yeah. because they're kind of meh units. Yeah, they become meh at this point due to the insane amount of uh, units but they uh, just keeps throwing at your face yeah this is this is start this is getting the stuff where um ermor's units actually start running into trouble too yeah even the precipice the op piss will run into trouble at this point in time because um the ai just will keep dumping things on you over and over I am yeah, it's going to just um move and patrol here so if, if there's anything that's uh trying to attack us, she can just kill them. Then she'll be able to get there into the the province to be able to teleport. I'm also gonna get uh, this guy to forge us. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, wait, you're moving her over there? You already beat them, right? Huh? Tell her to move and patrol. Yeah, I already said this on move and patrol. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just forge. This guy has 17, he has a few. Yeah, it's gonna be the, um, it's definitely gonna be the golems that are gonna save us this game, because... Yes, yes we're trying to get the golems. Nothing else is gonna work, because the typical, because, um, uh, Arco is kind of, it's, like, it, it's basically light infantry units, but they're still very much the quality over quantity. Yep. yep. And that doesn't work against the impossible AI. Nope, that's, that's pretty much a lost cause against the impossible AI. Well, unless if you're MA all. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it's a kind of a good thing that we lost all those units because... um, I guess we have <laughs> some free money to spend now. I mean, less, less upkeep at least. 
So we're gonna send in all our units over there to the mighty pillars in an attempt to stop Tianqi from keep on barging in. Move and patrol Athena into there so that on the next turn we'll have this fort province free and then she'll be able to teleport to more enemies. Otherwise we'll be crafting um, a few more moral boosting items to get the next commander ready. And also we're still stacking vine ogres, currently at, this, at a small number of 9 vine ogres, nothing too big right now, but we can put them on sparse lines since they're just um, and, uh, mindless. Um, oh yeah. boys. I don't think um, there's any much, but nothing much else. We'll just complete our research. Dash straight for golem construction down there. Also get weapons of sharpness. That's going to also help us. Yeah, but it's mostly going to be the golems just because the golems are probably the most cost effective unit we can field at this point. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I guess. Uh, let's Mystics also, well, we saw Mystics. Basically, that's we sh we sh pretty much showed what you do with Mystics. You recruit a ton of them. You should get a lot of forts. You should you recruit a ton of them, and then you kind of just sort them as they are capable of fighting. <laughs> yeah, they're sort of Swiss Army knives, you could say. Definitely. Okay. I guess yeah. <laughs> um. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching everyone. Like the video. Helps us bump it up the search results a tiny bit. Subscribe to the yeah. channel to follow this series Looks for like Discord's every episode. On the again. Oh, yeah. Sam probably doesn't know what happened since I'm just explaining this right now. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And see you soon.